On this week's GTA 5 o'clock, the GTA 5 mapping project version 1.0 unveiled. Take a virtual tour of Los Santos featuring 28 accurate locations and how you can help shape the most accurate GTA 5 map available anywhere on the internet. All this and more in this week's GTA 5 o'clock, the only YouTube GTA 5 show to have seen GTA 5. Hello and welcome to this week's second episode of GTA 5 O'Clock. Apologies for the short episode yesterday. I hope you're about to find out why we can only do 12 minutes. Uh, today I'm joined by James Jarvis. Hello. And I am Dan Dawkins, co-host of GTA 5 O'Clock. As we said yesterday, Tim Weaver is on holiday in a caravan getting soaked upon by the British weather. God bless him. But Having I'm sure, a great time by the sounds of things. Yeah, I'm sure he'd be excited to come back and find out we've only gone and mapped all of GTA 5. Well, as promised yesterday, what we've been doing is creating what we hope will become the definitive map of GTA 5. Now, this is based on reasonably scientific principles, where what we've done as the core base mark is taken the snatches of the accurate GTA 5 map provided by Rockstar with the collector's edition. Yeah. Now, those have done the rounds on the internet, and a lot of really good community sites such as GTA 5 videos, um, such as GTA Forum, where they've got an incredible 600 link or 600 page mapping project. And I'm going to massively tip our hat to that because we've used that as a resource. We've taken every single official screenshot Rockstar have released, over 100 of them. We've rewatched every single video and freeze framed and capped all the key bits of geography. Plus, we're taking what we know from having seen the game and we're binding all of that up together into what we think is a pretty accurate picture of the actual GTA 5 map that we're proud to unveil on screen right now. And as you can see, that is a super HD version, the first version of the GTA 5 o'clock mapping project, version 1.0. We're gonna release that so you will be able to take it, play with it, change it, and in a way vandalize it. And if you send it back to us, uh, we'll like ratify all the suggested changes, and we're gonna keep updating this map and re-release official versions of it. So hopefully, whilst we're fully aware we're going to make mistakes this week, hopefully the core geography is correct, and with your help, using the existing screenshots and a little bit of smart maths, we can make the map better week after week. That's right. Yeah, as Dan said, massive thanks to the guys at GTA Forums. They've done tremendous work over the past few months making this map, or well, making bits of this map into what it is. We've taken Dan's knowledge from seeing the game and the screenshots and made this super HD map but yeah as he says if you've got any suggestions or you think some bits are wrong or in the wrong place or anything like that do uh, download the map scribble all over it and send it back to us at GTA V o'clock on Twitter or just put a link in the YouTube comments somewhere and we'll take a look at them all and compile them into the next version of the map yeah now what we're gonna do today is rather than just like coldly show you the map we're gonna take you on a virtual drive of Las Santos we we're going to start um, at the Griffiths Observatory and we're going to work our way down through the main city of Los Santos around the uh, west side of the city. We're going to work past the golf course, we're going to go past the beach, we're going to head into the docks to the airport, we're going to scoot back inside to sort of the um, more downtown area where Franklin lives, like the sort of Compton-esque area. Then we're going to head into the main downtown city with the skyscrapers. We're going to loop back round to like West Hollywood and the glamorous side. And then we're finally going to burst on out into the countryside. We're taking in at least 28 unique locations from existing screenshots and screen caps. So if you want to see how it all fits together, join us right now. So here we are, Dan, at the Griffiths Observatory, looking out over downtown. Yeah, we're looking out over downtown. This is essentially in this one image is all of the main town of Los Santos. Now, this is probably at foot level considerably bigger than it looks here. Mm. And let's face it, it does look big even here. Now, the key thing that catches your eyes in the top left corner, you can see the entire downtown area, which is relatively accurate to actual LA, where there's a big sort of skyscraper, very gridded downtown block. Now, within that downtown block, are a number of uh, key landmarks that we already know are integral to GTA 5. Now these include the IAA and the FIB buildings, which are like the CIA and FBI buildings, mm -hmm. which were key to the first mission ever shown, which is in the, in the first Game Informer article, where Michael uh, abseils down one of the buildings to retrieve 
like a hostage who they need and I think he's working for the FIB at that stage isn't he so that's we can show you the location of those two we can also show you the location of those relative to the Mile High Club which is the huge under construction tower which has appeared in all of the trailers or you know in a lot of key images since the trailer number one plus there's a couple of other buildings which appear which we don't know their GTA 5 names yet but we do know what their real life names are and that includes well we think it's the maze bank isn't it yeah, that tall, that's right. the big like, tall circular type tower building should be the maze bank and there's a big screenshot of uh, all the characters on top of that bank so that again seems quite a likely location for a heist we also see like a cluster of towers that in real life is the west in bonaventure hotel which is quite famous and also uh, something that looks a little bit like a playstation 3 but it's in fact a skyscraper and that in real life is the melon bank so all of those are in that cluster right there. If you move just to the right of the cluster and further in the background, you can see the uh, Vincent Thomas Bridge, which is like the key bridge landmark in all of Los Santos. Beyond that, you can just about glimpse the uh, Los Santos Airport. Uh, we can't really see the docks, but that's kind of to the top left, far left, am I right, James? Yeah, it's in that, that sort of area. You, yeah, you can't see in the screenshots because of the the clouds and the I guess because it's so far away but they are they should be sort of behind that big cluster of buildings and in the sort of middle left of the view you can glimpse sort of the the fringes of what in real life is West Hollywood or in, in our case Vinewood now this is kind of the area where Michael lives it's the very affluent Beverly Hill style part of Hollywood this is where all the glamour is all the neon all the faded celebrity this is where all the key fantasy hotels are this is where one of the gameplay missions we saw or not gameplay missions one of the gameplay demos we saw was where Michael sort of patches now all those buildings are there we're going to explore that later on if you head to your right you can see the golf course on the far right and like a series of buildings that we don't really know their significance within GTA 5 yet but again, you can map to accurate real life buildings. And then if you push right past the golf course out to the sea and the coast, you can see uh, Vespucci Beach and like Muscle Beach and Del Perro Pier, which again is sort of like your Santa Monica area and Venice Beach area in real life LA. So uh, yeah, there we go, we've seen the city. So now we're gonna get in our virtual car. We're gonna drive, and hopefully you can see this in Indiana Jones but style driving. driving. Our mini car. So yeah, we're going to head down uh, down the hills, winding down from the Griffiths Observatory, and then we're going to sweep down, and you're going to be able to see uh, Michael's house. Now, Michael, like, we do know for a fact that as part of his, his sweetheart deal with the FIB, he's managed to keep a big load of cash, and as a result, he's got a really beautiful mansion, which um, is up in the Vinewood Hills. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, on in screen right now like how beautiful his house is, and it gives you a sense of the scale and the geography. So yeah, we won't dwell too long in Michael's house. We're gonna get back in our car, drive down, back down the hill, driving now towards, sort of driving south and, depending how you look at it, you know, west across towards the golf course. That's right, and this is the screenshot we can see of Michael having a bit of a bad time at the golf course. And we think we can see the Griffiths Observatory up in the middle background there. So that would put this exactly where we are on our map and we think those houses in the background on the hills one of them should be Michael's house but we're just not sure which one yeah exactly again we would appreciate your help if you think you can pin it down but yeah the, for us the geography ties up because you can see Griffiths Observatory and the relative position of the golf course should tie in with our map okay so we're going to take time out for nine holes then we're going to head back in the car we're going to boost down towards the south we're going to go through a few more sort of gritty streets and now we're heading out towards the coast on the west where we're going to be looking at Vespucci Beach. Okay, so um, yeah, whilst we're in the car, we've handily brought our uh, camera chopper, which can uh, give you a really good view of as you cruise down through our route. You can see here the west side of Vespucci Beach. And in, you know, in the center of the screen, you can see Del Perro Pier. So this is, the, this is the angle you will have if you approach from this, this direction. Mm -hmm. um, if you look to the sort of bottom right quadrant, you will see a strip of buildings along the beach, 
and there is a significant location there, James, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we think we found uh, Michael's therapist. I think that's where he lives, just down there on one of these houses in the beachfront. From a lot of the work we've seen, again, on GTA forums and stuff, they've managed to find the actual real-life building of where it should be. Uh, we think that this is where he is. And from one of the trailers that we've seen, it's the place that Michael's sitting on the bench when Franklin comes up to him and asks him, hey, do you know where this house is? Yeah. It's the where it's the beachfront that Michael's sitting on. Whether he's just had a, a therapy session or he's just about to go into one, we're not sure, but that's probably why he's sitting down there on the beach. Yeah, and that's probably how they meet for the first time. And it's a neat tying up of like, it looks like Franklin's in the area to repossess a car. And, you know, Michael's there because he's got one of his shrink gigs. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a nice, you know, chance meeting to get them together. So, yeah, we, we move from there and we walk towards Del Perro Pier itself. Now, it, on Del Perro Pier, and there's obviously one wonderful, like, a storm lightning screenshot of Del Perro mm. Pier we've all seen. Pier, pier we've all seen and it, and off the pier in a few screenshots is also that wonderful yacht boat or like yeah more like it's not a yacht is it it's like a it looks giant, like a party boat doesn't it really yeah a giant party boat that again we've speculated that michael's daughter might be partying on um but here yeah we can see michael with his son um and they're like halfway down the pier on this shot and you can see the big ferris wheel and the roller coaster uh, and if you look up on this screenshot like to the left there is where we think the therapists yeah just is. just off to the left past uh, the big building there so it'll be along the pier to the left along the beachfront uh, we should be able to see it there and what we're going to do now we're going to grab a little cheeky bag of popcorn we're going to walk back up the pier and stroll off to our right and uh, again one of our handy friends in a plane has taken a shot for us and here you can see the eastern approach to Del Perro Pier um, a couple of things to pick out here. One is obviously lots of people having a great old time on the beach. Um, what other landmarks can we pick out here, James? Well, here we've got the um, the skate park area, we think, which is what you can see in one of Michael's trailers when he's there with his son. Where is that in location to the screen? Uh, sort of middle right, uh, where all those, that big sort of palm tree area is. And yeah. you can see a lot of blue buildings as well. Around that area is where like the, the muscle beach type is, where you'll go to the gym that we've seen in the screenshots. Um, and down there as well should be the screenshots that we've seen of the shops where they're all selling sunglasses and things like that. That yeah. should be along that strip. Okay. So, yeah, there we can see like the Muscle Beach Gym will be a bit further down. Uh, there's the skate park that we've seen where, you know, Michael rides the BMX, not BMX through, his mountain bike through. Uh, and you can also see the dog park uh, in that area. Yeah, hopefully. there's a, We haven't actually seen mention of a dog park in GTA 5 yet, but there is a dog park in real life just there. And we oh, know right. dogs are in the game. So why not have the dog park in there that you can go and walk your dog every now and then? It would be really cruel on Franklin's dog, Chop, if he's the only dog in the entire <laughs> universe. So yeah, we would expect there to be other dogs within GTA 5. Right now, we're going to head out of the uh, beautiful uh, beach and the sort of the Venice Beach area. We're going to head down kind of like southeasterly um, along the main road. And we're going to head past Los Santos Airport. Now, um, Los Santos airport has its sort of iconic viewing tower um, and again it's based off um, the coast itself so there's one screenshot where you can see of the submersible uh, submarine vehicle and in the background of that you can see the airport which is one reasonable -ish view of the airport perhaps the better view we've had of the airport is in Michael's recent character trailer where there's that really dramatic scene at the end where they're chasing down a plane in a car mm. and, and the police are chasing them down so I think that gives you more of a sense of the scale of Los Santos Airport. Yeah, it's that big sort of passenger type plane that's coming into land and there's all those police cars chasing other cars that are driving along the runway as the plane's coming into land. So that gives you a sense of the scale of the airport. It's good to, a good thing to point out that although maybe in the thing as we're panning up and down this map it might look reasonably small, but you have to think of the scale of the city, like just how big we're driving around now. We've only covered like a tiny section of it and we've driven quite a long way. So although it may look not because it hasn't got like so many islands like the last GTAs, it might look like a smaller bit. This is actually a massive amount of land we're covering. Yeah, absolutely. And we're cutting out all the street sections just because we haven't got that footage or we know we can't exactly link which street is which just yet. OK, then we head from um, Los Santos Airport past Vincent Thomas Bridge, which is like the uh, huge iconic bridge we've seen in various different screens. It looks 
I mean, it's not unlike sort of your version of your San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, essentially. Okay, from the Vincent Thomas Bridge, we're going to head down, still to the south, going southeast, and now we're heading past Los Santos Docks. Um, now, Los Santos Docks are where we've seen some screenshots, some of the early screenshots, in fact. I think where we saw possibly Trevor with like a laser sighted rifle was down in the docks area. And again, it seems quite likely that there's going to be some kind of heist activity in that area. Yeah, we've seen Franklin down there as well with his binoculars out looking out over the docks. Uh, so it would, you know, it would tie in to have some kind of heist, a big shipping heist a bit later on. Yes, okay, now we're down pretty much in almost the southern tip of uh, Los Santos and its surrounds. Um, we're going to head back out from there, uh, follow the loop road around, and we're going to curl around to uh, Los Santos Stadium. Okay, so we've headed up and we've reached the Los Santos Stadium, which we think is based on the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Yeah, the, the trademark sort of archways that you can see all the way around the stadium there does make it look a lot like the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. So we've had a little park up and having a little look at it. Yeah, exactly. And if you, if, again, if, from the approach area we've took to this, it's one of the screens that does show uh, the rail track. And we don't know exactly where the rail track runs through Los Santos, but we think that the, you know, the rail line you see here probably loops all the way up to kind of the Zancudo River Alamo Sea area where we see in one of the trailers Trevor jumping from a train mm -hmm. and escaping a head-on train collision so it could be that this is where downtown the, the train track begins you know but we don't know the map and the route it takes through GTA 5 just yet. It's also worth no noting that the uh, scenery and landmarks are kind of flattening out because this is kind of the more you know run down uh, more tough gangland area of LA we're heading into right now. Um, and if we loop around from the Los Santos Stadium, we head into an area that, you know, in, in real life is sort of famous as Compton, which is where, like, you know, the gangs area is in L.A. And, um, you yeah, know, we can see a really good street view pan of Franklin's trailer and, like, the street Franklin is most commonly pictured on. Yeah, it's where he uh, lives and I think where Lamar probably lives as well uh, with and Chop obviously lives around here as well. But it's a lot, as you say, it's a lot flatter. There's a lot less high-rise buildings but it's a nice area of the street we can view here from left to right just seeing all of the little shops and but all the houses have sort of like chain fences and things like that yeah i mean this is not the affluent area of of los santos uh, as we know of franklin as a character he's like an ambitious repo man and i think he's kind of working his way up from like a gang banging past and trying to break clear of that and lamar is almost like telling him he's losing his edge and he's not keeping it real and he's, he's got to stay you know true to his his gang and Franklin's got bigger dreams than that but you know I think that's going to be one of the big tension points in the game uh, you know it also it makes sense for Franklin's house and sort of you know crew to be in this location because part of the reason of Rockstar offering three different characters is that it's going to be a way to like quick skip between key geographical locations mm. now broadly if you've got Michael in like North Los Santos in Hollywood it would make sense to have Franklin in southern downtown Los Santos, which is what we think will happen. It's a nice way to skip across the city. Obviously, Trevor's much further north in the country, out towards sort of Sandy Shores and uh, the Salton Sea area, the Alamo Sea, as it's known in GTA 5. Okay, so we're going to head out of you know our virtual Compton. Now we're going to head out towards the storm drains that we've seen in various different screenshots. Um, perhaps most notably of which is one where our gang are being pursued by the police on what looks like the back of a successful or not heist. So yeah, they're, they're heading up. And the Storm Dreams perhaps for most of us are more famous for appearing in Terminator 2, where Arnie slams onto one in his badass bike and starts swinging around a shotgun one-handed. So I mean, that's probably your iconic vision of the Storm Dreams. Also, you've probably seen them in Point Break yeah, so let's imagine we're not on a heist, and in fact we are just in our car driving along, so we're going to head back out now uh, towards the west, in the, to the densest area in all of Los Santos, which is like, in real life, um, downtown. Okay, so yeah, we got one of Trevor uh, skydiving, and this shot is a really good one to pinpoint exactly which building is which in downtown. Um, if you look out to the far top left, I think you're looking sort of south towards your Vincent Thomas Bridge. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right there. You can just see it uh, hovering off in the background. In the very foreground, we've got the IAA building. Yeah, so yeah, bottom right 
middle, you've got the IAA building, which we said is CIA. Then to the left is... That should be the FIB building. And there's your PlayStation type building down behind the IAA building. Yeah, that's the Mellon Bank in real life. I'm not sure what it is in GTA 5 yet, but that's the Mellon Bank. You spot that in quite a number of screens. Mm. Um, to the right, there's a collection of sort of cylindrical towers, which are sort of arranged very close proximity. They appear in a few screenshots. We think those are based on the real life Westin Bonaventure Hotel buildings, which are again, are quite iconic for downtown. Um, looking middle, sort of top, the big circular tower yeah, with one with the blue top. Yeah, that is the the Mays Bank building. We think that we've seen of them standing on top of it with the helipad on top, and there are all three characters there waiting to do something. And then just to the left of that building, we've got the Mile High Club, which is still under construction. Yeah, the Mile High Club with its sort of trademark crane. So you can sort of gives it away and the fact the building's literally not finished. So we're not quite sure of the role of that in the game yet, but we talked about it in previous shows. Now, that should give you a good sense of the downtown geography. There's obviously other skyscrapers in there. We definitely know so far those are the key players. Mm. Um, that area is, is densely packed and you know very vertical. So hopefully that's a nice sense of the scale within that region. Okay, and just to prove that we haven't gone mad and there is method to our locations, uh, you can see here the three characters on a helipad on top of the maze bank, you know, likely about to perform a heist. But, you know, in this scene by night, you know, it lights up really nice. But you can see glowing in the background, directly to the north, pretty much, the Vinewood logo. And the Vinewood logo is a really great geographical hotspot just to, you know, root us and make sure everything is as we predict. Yeah, and you can see the, the grid of streets below as well that go in very uniform sort of squares, which gives us a good basis for knowing how many blocks things are away from each other and on the left hand side the little light on the hill as well that could be the Griffiths Observatory um, so that will give you a good geographical location of those two. Yeah so that's like a north facing view of you know, Los Santos like from downtown looking up north. Okay so we're going to head from there we're going to drive our little car up the road bisecting one of the main freeways we're going to head now into sort of what in real life is West Hollywood or is uh, Vinewood in GTA 5. We're gonna cut along and we're gonna scoot past uh, like GTA's equivalent of, uh, is it the Chateau Marmont? Which I'm not sure, we're not, we've struggled a bit to pinpoint exactly what the Chateau Marmont is. But we're gonna go from there and drive up through West Hollywood. And we're gonna head all the way up towards, well, the left-hand side of the Vinewood sign which is where we should find the Hollywood Bowl. And here it is, uh, it's a quite clear view of the Hollywood Bowl there, and you can see the, the city in the background, that again, you can see the FIB and IAA buildings with the Maze Bank just there with the big circular thing in the middle of the shot. Yeah, and I say, this shows you as well the sort of vertical terrain, so you will be climbing up into the Hollywood Hills and the Vinewood sign. Um, when we get to the Vinewood sign, it gives you a nicer version of the geography. We're looking for now with one where, with what we think is, is that Michael hanging at the back of a chopper? Yeah. Michael hanging at the back of a chopper as part of a mission, the mission that was shown to Game Informer. Now again, directly below it, this again shows you West Vinewood. And this is the sort of, you know, celebrity-ish area of Vinewood. Now on the very top, right of the screen we can see a sort of l-shaped building yeah and we think we've seen that in another screenshot before in fact it's pretty obvious i think that it is the von krastenberg hotel that you can see at night time okay so yeah we can see there the von krastenberg hotel now that's interesting because the von krastenberg hotel is where our eyes on demo with GTA 5 uh, showed us Michael for the first time, you know, at night time, and he emerges from the Van Krostenberg Hotel. Now, Von Krostenberg, uh, you know, is a character, in fact, in GTA 4. She's a, a girl who's, who's supposed to be like the equivalent of a, you know, millionaire hotel heiress. Like a Paris Hilton. Yeah, exactly like a Paris Hilton. And again, in GTA 4, she's involved in a sort of naughty sex snaps thing and wants to get out of it. So, you know, it seems like, again, this is vaguely Hilton-esque style hotel but yeah we can see it right there and the giveaway is that you can see the sort of von Krastenberg lettering in white just on top of the building and the geography all ties up with what we've seen and in now, the demo you saw was the one where she was getting chased by the paparazzi and, and Michael had to take her back home 
Is that, is that yeah, right? that's the same demo. So we can use the geography from there to reveal a bit more. Now, the next screen we see is, is actually from the demo where Michael uh, walks down the street from uh, the von Krastenberg sort of easterly, no, sorry, westerly along and he goes past the Chinese, the equivalent of the Chinese theatre, which again is a very famous West Hollywood mm. landmark. And it's there that we see the, you know, the Space Ranger from the GTA 4 TV shows. And that's where we see the character pop out his phone as we see here and take a photo of that. And it's, we cross the road and then we headed towards where Michael again um, meets the character, is it Lacey Jonas? who is a celebrity mm -hmm. who he has to drive back to a house because he's being chased by the Paps. So yeah, that's a nice little glimpse of the thing. We've also got in this region the Richmond Hotel that we're struggling slightly to place, but we think that's based on the incredibly lush Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah, it should be up around this area somewhere. It's just from the screenshot, we've, uh, we can obviously just see sky. It's quite hard to actually nail down exactly where it is, but if you guys think you know where it might be or you've you've seen a screenshot that that it's different that you think you can identify it from please do send it over yeah please help us out okay we're back in the car we're going to leave west hollywood behind we're going to go past um an area i don't think we've got a proper screenshot for and that's kind of the racetrack yeah we can see the racetrack from the dam uh if you look at the the dam screenshot which we've placed right on the far right of our map looking down onto downtown and you you can see from this screenshot of the dam we've got here, the racetrack is just in front of it in the middle, just peeking out behind the mountain on the right hand side. Okay, so heading out from the racetrack, now we're breaking out of like, you know, dense downtown Los Santos and heading out into the country. You can see the freeway here, you know, already the uh, scenery's become quite flat and stark. It's definitely more deserty looking. Uh, out on the right of this key freeway screen, we can see some of the like the radars. And these radars are quite handy in terms of positioning some of the other screenshots so you know as we head out we can see the desert and a great shot to cross-reference this all with is there's a brilliant shot where again from trailer two i believe where yeah. trevor jumps out of the back of a cargo plane in like a military jeep in a parachute if you freeze frame that like we've done on screen you can see in the very bottom middle the arrangement of radars and if you look just above that, you're looking at the freeway screen we've just seen. And then just to the north of the radars is what we believe is like a Los Santos prison complex. Yeah, it's sort of where the truck is, is the front wheels of the truck are sort of pointing directly at it, uh, where we can see the prison. It's again in one of the Vinewood screenshots where we can see the sign and there's a helicopter going past and you can just make out a prison in the background, which fits with the geography that we've already established. Okay, so we've headed past the satellites and the prison. Now we're gonna head back down to the dam that we've briefly mentioned. Again, this is one of the other big sort of wow views of all of Los Santos. As we briefly described, you can see downtown from it. You can see a little bit of West Hollywood. You can catch the Griffiths Observatory. All it really does is tie up the geography we've established because this is looking onto Los Santos like from the Eastern view. So it's East looking West. And as you can see on that, you know, Griffiths is to the right, which would be the north. Downtown is the south, which is the south. It's all consistent with real world LA geography. It's consistent with everything we've said. So yeah, we'll head out from the dam. We're going to spin up along the coast. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a bit of a, an, an, a big unknown for us here because the, the map that GTA, uh, you know, have given away with the special edition is very dense and complete downtown. But essentially, you know, we're, we're taking liberties and guessing from here on in at the top end, you know, and I say guessing, you know, with the help of having seen it and with the help of hundreds of screenshots. But, you know, the, it's not as accurate as the actual map itself. So we're heading along north and then we end up, you know, on the actual coast itself where we think there's a lighthouse and a coastal region. This, again, is something we saw in the demo with Trevor. And um, this, again, you know, is the outlet from the Alamo Sea. We loop around to the north, we go past the huge Alamo Sea region. Uh, now, again, we're unsure where Grapeseed, which is the sort of wine country region, falls into all of this. Could either be slightly to the north of the Alamo Sea or possibly even to the west, but yeah, we're not going to dwell on that for now. What we're going to do is head along the top of the Alamo Sea, the north of the Alamo Sea, heading towards um, Sandy Shores, which is where 
well, essentially where the region where Trevor lives, isn't it? Yeah, we've seen a lot of screenshots with Trevor around this sort of deserty sort of land. It's all a bit run down. There's a lot of trailers and things like that. And it's where Trevor's house or shack or trailer or whatever it is probably is going to be located. Yeah, that's it. And again, you, you can see that, you know, this area is pretty flat. It's pretty run down. It's really countryside. You see people towing generators. This is where kind of like the wax and the nut jobs and the conspiracy theorists live. It's where a lot of the drug dealers and the West Coast chapter of the Lost Motorcycle Club or Motorcycle Gang are based. And this is where, again, where we see Trevor getting in some hijinks and duffing some dudes up in the bar and mm -hmm. being a bit of a badass. Uh, you can see in the mount in the background of Sandy Shores, like some of the sweeping mountains, which you know could be heading towards Mount Chiliad. It could be uh, the edge of Mount Josiah. Again, it's quite difficult to tell from the screens. You know if we've exactly got it right. Okay, so we've looped past Sandy Shores. Now we're sort of heading over a bridge that sort of joins the mainland, crosses the Alamo Sea. Uh, you can get a glimpse of it here. This is sort of the east side of. Uh, well, it's you know it's the east side of the approach to the Zancudo. Um, but it's the inlet to the Alamo itself. Uh, in the background, you can glimpse sort of more of the coast side, which I think is where we see Trevor waking up in a demo. We saw Trevor waking up in his pants, um, surrounded by dead bodies. So that's the kind of thing Trevor does. Yeah, when he had that altercation with the Lost, that's where you saw him waking up in his pants, going, oh, that's all gone a bit wrong. Uh, and we've seen that screenshot of him holding a gun at someone, which looks like it's in the general Sandy Shores sort of area. Yeah, now we're gonna head up here along and sort of towards the Zancudo River, out towards the west coast of Los Santos. As we head out on the Zancudo, the geography slightly changes. Again, it gets a little bit flatter, um, a bit patchier, and um, it's in this area round about where our demo showed Franklin jumping out of a plane and he sort of hovered over Mike Josiah and from that position, we could see like uh, the military base and a couple of other key locations in this region. Uh, they're quite difficult for us to place with the geography because when we saw the demo, we weren't quite sure what related to what. But um, yeah, you get a sense of now like moving out, the river's changing shape and direction. And uh, there's quite a few screenshots that, you know, corroborate this geography. Now, handily, Rockstar have done some of the heavy lifting with us. And, you know, a number of the screenshots look exactly like the demo we saw. And this is the region where Franklin drops into you know and in fact in our demo what you see now is Franklin parachuting in and he, he landed almost exactly on these shores the water looks stunning when he landed there were like a couple with a Winnebago just fishing down there so I mean that, that was really really beautiful but it, it does give you a sense of and again there's another screen where the valley opens up and you can see you know where it winds out towards the west coast yeah, and it's worth it's worth remembering to look how massive those mountains are compared to the the character model, and that should give you a sense of just how big these environments are. Like it's quite hard to grasp from just the screenshots, but he's really tiny. And imagine like walking all the way up that mountain to get to the very top. It's going to take you a long time. Oh yeah, I mean, and it's stunning, and the scale is amazing when you see it in real life. Okay, we've pulled a shot from trailer two where you see like a plane shooting past, and you see the train heading towards another tunnel. Now in, in the, the you know the trailer we see Trevor jump off the two trains as they collide. Now from cross-referencing the, geog the geography of it, it looks a little bit like this is like midway along the Zancudo because you can see two bridges in this screen. Like the one big huge vertical one here in the centre and in the background in the bottom left is like a red double bridge and that looks to me like the bridge we pointed out is like at the uh, mouth of the uh, Alamo Sea itself and you can see in the background like this sort of Salton Sea beach area like, I guess like Sandy Shores really and um, the mountains do corroborate so yeah, it looks like the big collision between the two trains takes place midway along the Zancudo River area. Yeah and if Trevor's jumping off two trains that are colliding you I mean the only place he's going to want to jump really is to into some a big watery river so to be possibly picked up by someone driving a boat so that would sort of make sense that this was over water. Yeah, as opposed to boiling hot acid. Okay, so we're leaving the Zancudo River behind. We're heading south. This area is a bit of a geographical black hole for us. You know, you can probably pull out certain scenery shots and do your own homework. But then we loop back round and now we're back to the north of Los Santos. We're heading back in towards West Hollywood and Michael's house. But we're just taking the, you know, the, the coastal road, not the coastal road, the mountain road back up. 
we're going to return to the Griffiths Observatory. And here we've got our final shot, which is from the right hand side of the Griffiths Observatory, which you know now pushes downtown to the left, the Vincent Thomas Bridge further south, and again to the right and obscuring the golf course just on the fringes of the picture. This is an alternative big view of Los Santos. So there we are, Dan. That's our virtual tour of Los Santos complete. Obviously, there are a few holes in it where we, we just don't really know what's in the countryside and stuff. But as Dan said at the top of the show, if you've got any suggestions, please download the map that you can find the link in the description and scribble all over it and send it back. Yeah, it's our intention uh, to maybe make the map available on cbg.com as well, computerandvideogames.com. Uh, hopefully they'll be hosting the map. We're going to try and host it as high res as we can. What we'd love you to do is using like paint tools or Photoshop, uh, you know, vandalise, change bits of it. Let us know where we're going wrong or where you think and can prove. And again, please just don't, you know, send it back and go, oh, I think this without any evidence. If you can prove ge ge geography and let's face it, the GTA forums thing is brilliant for that. If you can help us refine this map, we'll take all your great suggestions and we'll release a new version of it and we're going to keep revising it until we've got what we think is the definitive map. I think, you know, if someone is bold enough to do it, you know, people have started making 3D versions of the map, turning like, you know, these flat picture textures into objects. And it could be that if, you know, we could do that, we could actually build a sort of scrolling virtual 3D Los Santos. I mean, you know, let's face it, in the end, that's going to be the actual game. So maybe <laughs> I haven't got that long to wait. And, and I dare say, you know, it could be that Rockstar, uh, if they watch this or are aware of what we're doing, might release the official map to uh, clear up any confusion that we don't mean to create. We're just trying to do our best to, you know, give you a real feel for the scale of the game. Um, there's still so much to explore. We don't really know much about Mount Chiliad. We say we're a bit unsure on the location of uh, Grapeseed. There might even be some surprises we don't know about. And we, all we do know is the game is like three and a half times the size of Red Dead, which was absolutely massive. So you know, this really is a sprawling map. We've given you a great geographical taste today. Uh, please follow us on at GTA V O'Clock and please subscribe by clicking on screen now so you get all the latest updates and the map will continue to evolve as we go on. James, is there anything else to add? No, not really. Just uh, if you do submit any contributions, we do have a contributions list on the map so you won't go unnoticed. Everyone who submits something that is added to the map will be added onto the big contributions list. So, you know, there is a, a real point to doing it. We're not going to take all the credit because we know you guys work really hard and be able to help us out. Yeah, thanks very much for all of your help in helping us make this map. And until next week, we'll see you then. Yeah.